Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how an IRC bouncer works and how to set up an IRC bouncer. But before I can even tell you, you know, how to set it up and stuff, I have to actually tell you what it is. When you connect to a server from a client like XChat or MIRC, you connect from your client directly to the server on a typical connection. Now, when that connection is lo no longer there, you disconnect from that from the network, and you cannot, you know, connect to the server. No one knows you're there. You can't receive messages. Blah blah blah. Whatever. When you set up a bouncer, you connect to the bouncer, and then the bouncer connects to the IRC server. So when your computer disconnects from your bouncer, it uh, when your computer disconnects from the bouncer, it the bouncer still receives the messages from the IRC server, allowing you to still reconnect to the server and um, receive all your messages and see who might have left a nasty comment about you because you didn't give you know some random guy his chan off. So in order to show you that, I am going to have to show you in Linux. We are going to use a bouncer program called ZNC and you can start out by going to Google and just googling ZNC and it will take you to their website now ZNC is a pretty probably the most common IRC bouncer program that's out there uh, I don't know that it's for Windows but I do know that it is for uh, Linux. So you, what you want to do is you want to locate the download link. So I'll have this link in the description below this video. And we're just going to go ahead and download it. And so now you're going to want to open up a terminal. Oh. So as you can see, we have the bouncer tarball right there. And you're going to go ahead and extract this tarball. And so now we'll go in and we'll just go ahead and make and compile. Now we're just going to do a make. All right, so now the now ZNC is installed, or it's compiled, so now we need to actually install it into your computer. You could do that by typing make install. Oh, sorry, sudo make install. And this will install it into your computer. And now you have to type, I believe it's ZNC dash config. Now this will tell you, this is asking for the port that you would like to connect to your bouncer on. So for mine I like to put port 5555 um, and in order to allow ZNC to basically listen for connections on that port without being root, you have to be above ports uh, 1024, I believe. Would you like to listen for SSL? If you have the SSL libraries and you have it all installed, then I'd say yes um, to do secure connections to the server and also if the server supports um, SSL connections, then I would say yes, but since I don't have the SSL installed, I'm going to say no, and you can just say that by hitting enter. Would you like to listen for IPv6? No. Um, just hit enter. Would you like to load global modules? Yes, I would. Um, party line. What party line is, is it allows for if you have more than one user in your bouncer, you can actually start a IRC chat room inside the bouncer that is not on the actual IRC server. But since I'm only, the only one connecting to it, I'm going to say no. 
would you like to install the web admin module? Yes, I would. What the web admin module is, is it allows you to connect to ZNC and configure your ZNC account via a, any web browser. It's actually really nice. What would you like the username to be? We will say just tastic. This is the username that you will be logging into when you connect to your bouncer, but it will not be your nickname. You want to enter in the password, and then you want to confirm the password. Would you like this user to be admin? Yes. The nickname? I like mine capitalized. Yeah, that works. That works too. Whatever. Don't need to bind a host. We'll say no to that. Default channel modes. We will say plus NT. Do you want to automatically mo load modules for the user? Yes. Which modules would you like? Ooh, my terminal's not liking that. Um, the admin module specifies all of the, basically allows you to be the administrator of the modules for all the users in the bouncer. So we're just going to say yes. Chan saver. Um, you do want to say yes if you like to save the channels that you've joined or left. The keep nick. Yes, I want to keep my nickname. If you're kicked, I do want to rejoin. I do want to identify with nick serve. And no, I do not need the preform. Yes, I'd like the simple way. We'll connect to my server. Port 6667. No, there's no password. No, it does not use SSL. No, I would not like to add it. Would you like to add channels? Yes, I would. And then you will enter in the channel that you would like to join, so that would be pound free chat. And I don't have any other channels I'd like to join. And I don't have another user, so would you like to launch ZNC now? Yes. And so now ZNC has been launched and it is running in the background. So what we'll do is we'll go and we will go to internet and open up the XChat IRC client. So normally when you connect, it would connect to the, um, to the server itself. right here it'll connect to the directly to the server but what you can do is you can go to localhost on port 5555 like we specified earlier and it will ask you to type in the username and password so you will type slash quote pass password and it will join and so now as you can see I am obviously auto named and so you can actually have the bouncer um, give you a new or auto identify you with Nick serve and it will you know when you disconnect so let's say I disconnect here and I say something and I want to reconnect. You can reconnect and then and as you can see it has played back the messages that I sent earlier even though I was disconnected. Very useful program if you like to idle in channels or know what's going on even though you're not actually there. So I can actually completely close out XChat and as long as ZNC is still running in the background I'm still connected to the server and you can have this on different servers and everything. So 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it wasn't too confusing. And uh, you can always reach me at my network, fluxnet.dyndns, that is F L U X dash net.dyndns.org. That is also our website. So if we go up here and it will take you to our website where you can see how uh, you can, you know, connect and talk with me in whatever channel that I'm in. I'm usually in most of them. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can reach me here or you can make a comment, send a message, whatever. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching this video.